Terminator 3 MPU board sent in. Um, the uh, client had connected the power connector here to the speaker outputs right here. Fortunately, all that did was blow the two TDA 2030 amplifiers in the center of the image right there. So uh, I replaced those. I checked all the uh, ROMs, verified those as being correct, checked all the socketed chips, and uh, everything appears to be working properly. Let's do the um, test sequence here. Switches. I have some of them on now, so it'll think that there's balls in the trough. But let's go across the diagonal here. It can't hurt you here. <laughs> and uh, one of those switches elicits a Arnold quote, but uh, that is all working properly. Coil, and I'm going to cycle through them. Seven, eight, twelve. Some of these. LEDs are actuated for different periods of time because the game knows what kind of coils are on there and how long it has to actuate each coil. These circuits down here are generally flash lamps. It's interesting since T3 was the first White Star game that uh, the diagnostics are pretty rudimentary here. Let's take a look at the lamps. working correctly. Flash lamps is rather boring. It just cycles through these down here. That's about it. This thing is uh, ready to go. So uh, I'm going to get this back to the client and um, get him back in business. Thank you so much for sending it.